Does your engine bay look like a post-apocalyptic zombie film? Don't stress, this video will show you how to clean your engine bay in five easy steps. Before we start, here's what you'll need. A blower or vacuum, degreaser, carpet cleaner, some car wash, as well as plenty of rags and brushes. Oh, and there's going to be dust and chemicals flying around, so it's a good idea to suit up with your safety gear and make sure your runoff isn't going into any stormwater drains. Now, let's prep your engine bay. First up, find and disconnect the battery. If it's in the engine bay, you can also remove it entirely. Then, before everything gets wet, remove or blow off any leaves, sand, dust, and that 10 mil socket you dropped in there last year. Check that all your caps and dipsticks are firmly in place. And if your vehicle's air intake is open, make sure you mask it up. Here's a super handy tip before we start on the engine. Cover the important bits and start by cleaning under the bonnet. That way, you won't be dropping gunk all over your nice, clean engine bay. Depending on the state of your bonnet, some car wash and a soft bristled brush should do the trick. Or for the dirtier spots, a bit of degreaser will work wonders. Now there's nothing wrong with degreaser in a can, but if you're going to be doing it a lot, grab some mixable degreaser and apply it with a pressure sprayer. Now that's done, it's time to clean the liner. Just use an automotive carpet cleaner. Spray it on, scrub it off. Yep, just plain old carpet cleaner. It's finally time to get stuck into the engine bay. If yours has only a little dust and light road grime, that's super. You may not even need degreaser. Just splash on some car wash or apply using a pressure sprayer bottle. But for light oil stains and more stubborn dirt, degreaser is your friend, my friend. Make sure that degreaser is not sprayed anywhere that's detrimental to the engine and spray everything. Well, not everything. Be careful around electrics and electrical connectors, oil caps, and you better not go crazy around the spark lines either, if it has them. Step four, after a few minutes, the grime will loosen and it's time to get scrubbing. So you'll need to use some elbow grease. Paint brushes, detailing brushes, cloths and rags, lots of rags will be super handy here. Use soft brushes where possible and firm brushes where needed to get rid of thick build-ups and tough mud. Go easy. Remember you're cleaning your engine, not scraping last night's burnt steaks off the barbecue. Rinse gently as you go and apply more degreaser or car wash if needed. Step five. Finally, the good bit, drying it all off. If you have a workshop vacuum, use it to slurp the water out of anywhere it's pooled or a blower to simply blow it all off. Just be careful it doesn't force water in where you don't want it. Of course, if you don't have either of these, you guessed it, good old rags and microfiber towels work just as well. Now, all you need to do is reconnect the battery, unblock the air intake, and then start the engine. This will warm everything up and help any remaining water to evaporate. About 10 minutes should do it. Long enough to put the kettle on. And guess what? You're done. Now your car won't just look super on the outside. And here's another tip. If you want to keep it looking great, grab some trim restorer and give your plastics a once over. Find more videos to help you make it super with Super Cheap Autos DIYs.